Welcome to my kitchen. Saturday talks. <laughs> All right, guinea pig. <laughs> Today is Saturday, December the 4th, and we have several things going on. Uh, I want to wish a happy anniversary to my aunt and uncle. They've been married 56 years this year. And, uh, Happy guinea pig's aunt is having a birthday today. So, happy birthday. And I uh, want to wish happy birthday to anybody that's having a birthday this month. Uh, pretty sure there's several people. I have cousins that are having a birthday this month. And I'm trying to think of who else. I think several friends have birthdays this month. So, happy birthday to everybody. I'm actually videoing this on Thursday because Saturday on the 4th, when you will be seeing this, I will be busy in the kitchen doing candy and cookies for my party foods, cookies and candies videos. After we make some runs to get some things. Yeah, I have to run some errands first thing Saturday morning and then Saturday afternoon and evening I'll be cooking. And then on Friday, when I normally do the videos, we're going to be pretty much gone all day, grocery shopping, paying bills, and doing other things. So, stock it up for the month. Yeah, stock it up for the month so I can get ready to get these videos done. Uh, and I do want to let you know, I noticed that uh, Christmas is on the 25th, which is also a Saturday. So I may not be doing Saturday talks. I may be doing Sunday talks that day or that week because I know everybody's gonna be busy with their families on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And but we still put it out on that Saturday, be our Christmas gift to everybody, and they can watch it when they get the chance. Yeah, that'll work too. And then the following week is New Year's Day, which is also on a Saturday. <laughs> so <laughs> come on, 2022. I'm saying, this year has been something else. But, uh, like I said, I just wanted to let y'all know those few things. And like I said, wish my aunt and uncle a happy anniversary. I don't know if they'll be seeing this, but hopefully one of my cousins will see it and let them know I said that. And, and I'm thinking the guinea pig's mom might see this, so she can let, my, uh, let his aunt know that we wished her a happy birthday. And, uh... Let's see, what else am I talking about? I really don't know. Something will come up. Something will come up. I'm telling you. Guinea pig has been working on my mixer stand. It's coming along. He's getting there. It might be done by the first of the week. Hopefully. If we're lucky, it will be done by the first of the week. If not, be the end of the week. But that's okay. It's that drawer good. door giving me a problem, but I think I've thought of something that help me fix that. Yeah. Well, we'll get it done. Done with scrap wood and bent and twisted, you can only do so much. I'm saying. But I, I got tricked for it. So. <laughs> hey, I think he's figured out what he's going to do with it. We've been talking about it and coming up with ideas. And let's see, what else have we got going on? Um, hopefully, not this week, but next week, I'll have a new laptop coming in so I can save my videos better. I've been having a problem saving my videos. I bought an external hard drive. I bought three external hard drives. First one I bought, I got stuff downloaded to it and it messed up. Second one I bought, got stuff downloaded to it, it messed up. Third one I bought, it worked great. And all of a sudden, it started giving me problems. We've run the antivirus on them. No virus. It's just saying there's an error. So there's possibly something wrong with the hard drives themselves. I don't think it's that. I think it's that Microsoft Edge and that S virus protection they want to put over there. Yeah. It has to do with Microsoft and Windows, I think. But 
hopefully I'll still be able to access my videos that I downloaded there so I would have room on my laptop for my new videos but we shall see and I've got contingency plans if I do lose my videos I know how to cook these things so I can redo the videos if I have to not a problem or for the course for the YouTube thing I'm saying and it's like I say in my kitchen, you know, if it wasn't for something spilling, falling, knocking over, you know, falling apart, it wouldn't be my kitchen. So, same with this. If I didn't have a little bit of problem trying to get something to work, it wouldn't be mine. <laughs> so, that's just the way it goes. Y'all want to see the progress on that mixer stand, check out the Happy Guinea Pig page. And there's pictures. Yeah, yeah, if y'all want to see the pictures on the... Uh, the mixer stand or any of the other projects that he's done uh, there is a link uh, in the description and also on my about page on my youtube and it all three links are listed there uh, there's the link to my facebook page which is Ellen welcome to my kitchen uh, happy guinea pigs facebook page which is happy guinea pig eats again and our group page which is Alain and HGP, welcome to our kitchen. And anyone is welcome to join or follow. We don't have a problem with it. Anybody that wants to can follow us. They can uh, like the page. And if they want to join the group, you're welcome to join the group. Make posts. Yeah, you don't have to request to join the group. It just come right on in. Yeah, you can join it. And you don't have to go through any process right now to do that. I've got it open for anybody to be able to join. Uh, and also on that, you know, as long as it's food related, kitchen related, or even a DIY related, uh, you can post in the group. And I'd be happy if you did. I, I would love to see other people post. Uh, so right now, I think um, men have to get any bigger than the only ones posting in there, but we get a lot of likes and people commenting. It's just nobody's posting. But that's okay. If they don't want to post, they don't have to post. Um, I've had several people share the group, share the page, and I actually had a friend of mine make the uh, cheese crisps that I made that was a party snack. And through that, she has, uh, I hope, got several people to actually uh, check out our page and our group page. Was that Stacy or Tracy? That was Stacy. And Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> yeah. Stacy and Tracy both are very active commenters. They watch my videos, and you know I have to say they're great. Love them. I have thought the world of them since we were kids. So, uh, and they have been very supportive. And another person that's been very supportive of the page, been sharing and trying to get people to uh, like the page and. Uh, like the group and that's our little sis Bootsy. We love you sis. Um, and we have several Yeah I others. noticed she's added a few people to it. Yeah. We, we have, names. <laughs> we, we have uh, some from another group that we're in that uh, watch our videos and uh, comment and the main one that does that is Susan Price. And so <laughs> Well, we thank the world of you, Susan. You're a sweetheart. And uh, hopefully here soon, I'll be uh, putting uh, the channels that I watch on my YouTube page under uh, the channels that we've got to follow. I don't know that I will do all of them because I follow quite a few pages. But uh, I think the ones that are more related to what I actually do on my page, I might put on there. I mean, I know there's several uh, several pages that follow us, and we follow them. And uh, I have to say, you know, I've learned a few things from watching them, and I hope they learn something from watching me. But uh, there's I, some they, they some channels that we follow that are pretty big, so we probably won't do them yet, because you know there, there's a thing about you know not trying to seem like you're trying to get shout outs from a bigger channel being a smaller channel right yeah I'm, that's why I don't mention certain ones on there 
Now, somebody I will m mention right now uh, because it is the holiday season, and she does uh, homemade soaps. She makes her own soaps. Rachel. Yeah, uh, it's called Brazos Valley Soaps. B R A Z O S V as in Victor A L L E Y soaps. And well, she got some credentials. I'm telling you what. I tell you, Rachel is a sweetheart. She has great product. Uh, I know she has uh, bath gel, or shower gel, I should say. Uh, she has bar soaps. She has uh, hand washing soap. She she makes her own lotions, uh, lip balms. Uh, she one. got one that's supposed to help with bad skin, acne, and all that called black gold. Yeah. She used it to clear her skin up. She showed before and after. Yeah, black wow. gold. Yeah, it sells out quick. Uh, now, you can check out her website, brazosvalleysoaps.com, and see what she has. Um, she's also on Facebook as, as Brazos Valley Soaps. And she has her own page there. So, you know, if you're looking for a quick Christmas gift, and hopefully you can get it in before Christmas, uh, but I know she tries to do a pretty good turnaround. We've never had a problem. I've always gotten my product within seven days of ordering it from her. But with it being the holidays, you never know. She is very prompt. She is, she tries to be very prompt with it. And, and she, I mean, this is her business. I think she started it like five years ago. And she's building it up. She makes these things herself. And I know she's got a few scents out that I'm going to try to get in the next few days if she still has them and one i think it's uh, cranberry fig i think that's what it was i can only imagine what that smells like oh man sounds like it smells great yeah now my favorite soap that she makes is called spearmint eucalyptus and that's that sugar scrub ain't it no this is the soap it's the one that's got the blue and white swirls on top oh. that smells like the double mint gum thought that was the sugar scrub. Well, the sugar scrub does too, but so does the soap. Uh, now, she makes sugar scrubs, and she does have the spearmint eucalyptus sugar scrub as well. And she's got a blue agave, and she's got lemon eucalyptus. Those she's got things lemon. will get you clean. Yeah, I mean... They, they get they get uh, hard to get off stuff off of me. It, and, that, and that's saying something. Yeah, she has some excellent products. Now, like I said, my favorite is the spearmint eucalyptus, whether it be the hand soap, the sugar scrub, the uh, shower gel, whatever. I just love the smell of it because it reminds me of double mint gum. My favorite is the machine shop. It's better than Gojo and Lava. Yeah, he, he likes that to wash his hands and stuff with, but to shower with, he prefers the tea tree soap. Yep. He, he likes the tea tree bar soap and any of the sugar scrubs, as long as they're not florally. Now, I like a lot of the citrus smells, too, like the lemon scrub and the grapefruit. Dead, dead. <laughs> yeah, rub, dead, dead. this stuff scrubs good. And, uh, like I said, that is Brazos Valley Soaps. And uh, you can find her on Facebook, or you can find her on Instagram. Instagram. You can find her uh, on her website, BrazosValleySoaps.com. Uh, and please don't think, you know, I'm just trying to push this. This is something that we use daily. We love the product. We think the world of, of Rachel. She's a great person. Um, She's smart as I'll get out. I know that. Yeah. Now, another uh, one I want to give a shout out to is called The Rainy Rose. And you can find that on Facebook. Uh, she makes wreaths and home decor. And obviously, oh, yeah, I saw those. Those are perfect. Yeah. Uh, uh, our little sis bought two of the wreaths from her. Now, I went to school with the girl that owns the Rainy Rose, and, uh, you know, so, yes, I am supporting, you know, putting out and supporting somebody that I have met and that I have, I've knew years ago and I've gotten reconnected with. Her name is Kathy, and, uh, like I said, you can check out the Rainy Rose uh, Facebook page on, on Facebook. I don't know if she has an Instagram page or anything like that, but I'm sure you could find out. Uh, but like I said, check out the products and see what she, what she has. She doesn't just do Christmas wreaths. She does, uh, I know I saw one for Alabama uh, and for Auburn. And I'm sure if you wanted one for a different college or whatever, she could do that. 
Uh, I saw one uh, that she made that had beautiful flowers all over it. You know, just something to hang on your door. And personally, when... Uh, I like that one with the little truck on it. That was nice, wasn't it? I love that one with that little red truck. I love that. And I like the one that little sis got with the deer head on it. That was really nice. It was. And I saw one with a candy cane that had the uh, buffalo plaid like ribbon on it. And I like that. You know, so just check, you know, if, if you're looking for a wreath or would like to find a wreath or something like that, check her out. Who else would you like to? Uh, I'm going to give a shout out for my cousin Beth. Beth uh, does Pomfera. Now, I don't use the product, so I don't know how well it works. But she's been using it now for well over a year. She sells it. Uh, and uh, you can... Look her up on Facebook as well under uh, Beth Artist Potter. Uh, it, I don't know if it's, uh, I know on Instagram, I think it's Beth Artist Potter 73, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what her business page is. Um, if I, I'll look it up and I will put it in the description below. And I'll try to put the description or link to everybody that I mentioned in the description. And uh, that way, you know, if you want to check them out, you can go to the description and check out uh, Brazil Scully Soaps. You can check out the Rainy Rose. You can check out uh, Beth with the, her Pompera. Uh, I would have talked about the uh, shop or the, or the business that she had with her daughters, but I noticed today that they, they're closing it down, so I won't go into that. But uh, I know these three I wanted to get out there. And... You know, it, it, they, those are three things that you don't have to do for Christmas or anything like that. You can do it any time of the year. But it's things that you can check into if you're interested. And like I said, I know that the Pomfera, I think it is a walnut oil product. And it's for skin care. And it's got all sorts of stuff that they sell. I don't know everything that they do. I've just seen the posts that she's made. But she is my cousin and I love her dearly. And just want to put that out there for her, you know, for anybody that's interested. And I know that doesn't have anything to do with cooking or whatever, but, you know, this isn't it's a cooking. It's part of YouTube. It's part of YouTube. And I'm not cooking right now. And this is my Saturday Talks. And I usually just talk about whatever's on top of my mind at the time. So, uh, that's what I've done. And I'm going to say I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching. And, you know, if you would... Like, share, subscribe, comment, or leave a question. Hit that bell. And hit that bell icon. And that uh, click all on that. And you'll be notified the next time we upload a video. I do upload cooking videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then we have our Saturday Talks, of course, on Saturdays. And uh, if y'all have any requests or any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments or go to either one of the Facebook pages or the group page and you know you can contact us there by leaving us a message on, on the or make a post or whatever i do want to thank you all again for watching and everybody have a great day bye y'all bye y'all we're not more